We now take a look at a few problems that illustrate the law of conservation of energy. In this first set, we're going to look at only cases where there are no resistive forces, meaning no friction and no air resistance. Another way of saying this is mechanical energy will be conserved. Mechanical energy is potential plus kinetic energies. And in all these problems, we can assume that mechanical energy will be conserved. Example one, we um, are asked to find the distance a spring is compressed in order to halt a 1,000 kilogram car coasting, which means no braking, no gas, um, coasting at 20 meters per second. The spring constant is K equals 15,000 newtons per meter. First step I would do is make a diagram we have the important quantities here, the car, 1,000 kilograms, moving in at 20 meters per second. The, this is the conditions before. The spring is in a relaxed state in this initial drawing. In the final conditions, I'm showing the car smashing into the spring, compressing it maximally, coming to a stop. And X here is actually what we want to find out. In this and all the problems, we are going to start by conserving energy, which means we take the initial conditions and the total energy is potential plus kinetic. Now with the potential, when you have uh, objects that are staying on one level in terms of the height, you have no gravitational potential energy to deal with. So the only potential energy we have in this problem is spring potential. So that's what I'm showing here, uh, potential energy of the spring, initial, plus kinetic energy of the car, initial, and that's the total energy before, is equal to the sum of those things after. Potential energy of the spring, when it's maximally compressed, plus the kinetic energy of the car. Now right off the bat, it helps if we can identify anything that's zero initially, if the spring is not compressed at all, it's in the relaxed state, we can set the potential energy of the spring to zero as x, the distance compressed or stretched, is zero. F finally, the, p the car is coming to a stop. It's coming to a halt here. What does that mean about the speed of the car? What does that mean about the kinetic energy of the car? They're zero. So, the equation reduces to kinetic energy initial of the car moving equals the potential energy possessed by the spring in the final conditions. One half mv squared equals one half kx squared. The quantity x final being what we want to find, the distance by which the spring is stretched. The hard part is over. We have K given, velocity initial given, mass given. Mathematics, simple mathematics from here. So the car has 200,000 joules of kinetic energy going in. Don't forget to square the speed. That's going to equal 1 half times K. Now K is given, 15,000 newtons per meter, times X final squared. 200,000 divided by 7,500 is 26.7. So we have to take the square root and we get 5.16 meters. So we know the spring has to have 200,000 joules of potential energy. Why? Because that's what the car had coming in. And in order to make that happen, X final for that spring has to be 5.16 meters. Answer to example one is 5.16 meters.